going to happen on back-to-back -back possessions. First of all, Kevin Knox is going to switch over the top right here. That's why he's late getting to Kristaps Porzingis. So he's going to get sealed here. Jaden Ivey's got to pinch in from the corner to deny that entry pass. If my feet are set, I can deny the entry pass, and I can still recover. Okay? But Kevin Knox is getting sealed. Jaden Ivey's leaving. So now it's just catch, one dribble, bucket. Here this is again. You pay $78 million for this, all right? Kevin Knox, get underneath Porzingis immediately. And where's Bogdanovich? Get up and ready to guard. But Kevin Knox is switching over the top again. Again, you're going to be sealed. Catch, layup. You're going to see this multiple times this game, especially in overtime, all right? Alec Burks guarding Kristaps Porzingis is playing off. You can't do that, all right? But now this requires a double team. Porzingis is in the paint. Isaiah Livers got to come and get this dribble picked up. It's an immediate X out. Azar Thompson rotates up. Wiseman to the corner. Livers back down to the block. Okay? Or we can just watch this happen. Watch this happen in overtime over and over again. Up a missed free throw cannot happen. Your Bogdanovich go find Peyton Pritchard. Use the lower half of your body to box him out and move him out. What are you? You're, you're boxing out error. So easy. Pfft. Celtics get another chance. I mean, Alec Burks smiles and laughs after every loss. How about we sprint back here in transition right now? This ball's turned over. Sprint back. Alec Burks jogging. Jogging. Oh, now you're going to start sprinting. Pritchard got ahead of you. Other thing that constantly happens this game. You're Cade Cunningham. Get up. I have got to initiate the contact with Jason Tatum. Kevin Knox has come down to help me. So we're up. We're forcing him to the middle of the floor. What does Cade Cunningham do? Wait for Jason Tatum to find him and then let him spin baseline. Same exact thing. Same exact that you cannot wait for Tatum to find you. I'm up. I'm initiating the contact, forcing him to the middle of the floor. The deeper you let him get in the post, right? And you're playing off. Now there's no help. Jaden Ivey cannot gamble here. Look at how far down Bogdanovich is coming to help you. So I'm just up. I have help. Let's just make sure Tatum comes to the middle of the floor. But instead, you make an awful gamble, and now you're just completely cooked, and there's no help going to happen. This happens multiple times this game. The shot goes up. Anyone not going for an offensive rebound? So Bogdanovich, get back. Just start to sprint back immediately, okay? You're standing and watching. Rebound, hit ahead, two. Why are the Pistons switching this cross screen out of a baseline out of bounds? Cade Cunningham just needs to get up and jam Kristaps Porzingis as he comes through the cross screen so Duren can get on the other side. Instead, you switch. Cade Cunningham plays off again, and now Porzingis is in the paint. Throw it down, seal, one dribble, two. Here this is again. Jaden Ivey, first of all, sprint back to the three-point line. Sprint back to the three-point line. And Cade Cunningham, I have got to create the contact with Drew Holiday. Ivy should be in help. You got Jalen Duran is there in the middle of the floor. So I'm up creating contact and forcing Drew Holiday to the middle of the floor. But you're playing off again. You're playing off. So now he's in, on the block. No help now going to get there. And you're going to let him spin off you too. Guys standing in the middle of nowhere in transition. Boyan Bogdanovich is helping on the ball. Cade Cunningham got, has got to get to Drew Holiday. And Jaden Ivey, please find Al Horford trailing this play. Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey standing in the absolute middle of nowhere. Nice transition defense. This is, if you're Jalen Duran, it's a mismatch up top. Okay? So I'm forcing, where's my help? Middle of the floor. That's where I'm forcing Tatum to where my help is. Look where Jalen Duran turns his body. You're letting him go away from the help. You're on your own and obviously getting cooked. More bad transition defense. Jaden Ivey, first of all, sprint back. Sprint back. Get your back to the baseline. Get in a defensive stance with your feet set. And then, obviously, Jalen Duran needs to sprint back so he's in help. But Jaden Ivey's backpedaling and ends up falling. Duran's not in help anyways. Here we go again. This shot's up. Isaiah Livers is in the corner. You're not getting this offensive rebound. Get back. So get. You're going for an offense. You have no chance of getting this. Celtics get the rebound, and now it's a two-on-one. Because of why? It's very simple. I guess it's not $78 million worth of simple, but it's simple. You don't guard beyond the three-point line away from the ball. I'm at the top of the key in the gaps on Derek White's drive. Right? I can stunt, recover. Alec Burks is standing out beyond the three-point line. You're late. Now Derek White has space right to the rim. Monty Williams is terrible. Same stupid play befuddles the Pistons on back-to-back -back possessions. You're running consecutive ball screens if you're the Celtics. Switch the first one. Duran can take Derek White. Isaiah Livers is in the gaps the second he switches right here. Bogdanovich also in the gaps on the strong side of the floor. Okay, here comes the second screen. Cool. 
just switch again. You'll be fine. But nope, we're having Isaiah Livers go through two ball screens. You're operating a layup line, Monty. Steven Silas. There it is, same play. Operating a layup line. By the way, you know how this is really easily fixed is if you just hedge this screen. Because there's no place for Kata to roll. Alec Burks is standing in the lane in backside help. Or we could do the same thing we just did. Switch the first screen. Duran's up. You got help in the middle of the floor when Isaiah Livers switches. Okay? And then on the second one, just a simple switch here too. But nope. Let's operate a layup line again. $78 million. 70 for a garbage coach. And Steven Silas is here. That's insane. So now they're just, you're going to let them throw lobs. Like, I, get up and hedge this screen, please. Get Derek White out of the lane. Alec Burks is standing and waiting in backside help. You're going to let Nemius Keita here. Look at this. What else was going to happen here? What else? You don't need to switch this down screen here. Cade Cunningham can get attached and show so Jay Ivey can get over the top of the down screen. But if you're switching, Cade Cunningham's got to be up right away and there's nothing to talk and think about. It's an auto switch. Look at how late. Look at Cade Cunningham's calling for a switch now. Jay Ivey's trying to fight over the top of the screen. So now Drew Holiday's going to beat him back door. That's going to draw help from Jalen Duran and Porzingis catch and shoot. And happen on back-to-back -back possessions again. You're Jalen Duran. There's no space between you and Porzingis. I'm getting low. I'm battling. I have help in the middle. Of the Alec Burks is coming over to help. So I'm getting low. I'm battling. I'm keeping him out of the paint and forcing him into help. You're playing off. Look at this. You just let him right in the paint. He's going to shoot over you now. Next possession. Same thing with Bogdanovich. No space between you and Porzingis. I'm up. I'm low. I'm battling. Jay Ivey's coming to help. Duran's coming and help. But you got to keep him out of the paint. You're playing off. He's just going to turn. <laughs> You're Cade Cunningham. Jason Tatum's catching this at the foul line. No space. I'm up. I'm showing my hands, forcing him right into where this help is with Jalen Duran. Right there. Instead, Cade Cunningham backpedals. Now Jason Tatum's easily able to spin off you right to the rim. Goaltend. Cade Cunningham's going to be caught napping in overtime. Jason Tatum's dribble's picked up right now. And Cade Cunningham's not even helping anyways. So there's nothing left to do. The dribble's picked up. Get out to Derek White. Now. Now. Like you're just standing and watching. What are you watching? <laughs> Perfect way to end this game. Shot goes up. Alec Burks is standing at the top of the key. Just get back. Just get back. Nope. Celtics offensive rebound. One pass. Game over. 28 straight L's.